This video is about the Wheatstone Bridge. It's a very well-known circuit in electronics, invented a long time ago, as far as I know, by Mr. Wheatstone. You can find more information about this circuit on the internet, for instance Wikipedia. I made a very small demonstration circuit to show how this bridge works and what we can do with it. I use uh, four 39 kilo ohm resistors and they are soldered together in this way. And here is a micro amperimeter. It was salvaged from uh, an old tuner. It's extremely sensitive. And that means that we can uh, see when a current starts to flow in this direction or in this direction. In that way the pointer moves to the right and in the other way the pointer moves to the left. And as long as these resistors are completely identical no current will flow to the meter. I'm going to demonstrate it now. Here's the meter. This is my power supply. And now we go I'm going to uh, change the voltage from the power supply. This is 4 volts, 11 volts, 17, 18, 20, and this is approximately 30 volts. No movement at all, and the reason is that the voltage is completely nulled out because all the resistors here are exactly the same. When one of them uh, had another value, the pointer would move. I'm going to demonstrate it now. I bridge this resistor with my finger. And you can see that the pointer moves backwards. Now I bridge this resistor forget the transistor for a while, it doesn't uh, play a role now. When I do that, the pointer moves forward. And if one of the resistors in the bridge is, for instance, a heat sensitive resistor, where the value changes uh, according to the temperature, you would see that the meter, the pointer moves, and uh, many Old school temperature meters and also modern temperature meters consist of a Wheatstone bridge with one uh, temperature dependent resistor here in um, the bridge. When it is a negative uh, coefficient, the pointer moves the other way, of course. But you can find it out completely yourself. Um, when we uh, parallel, parallel or bridge one of the resistors with a transistor, it's clear to see that when the transistor gets in conduction, this uh, value also changes, because there comes a parallel resistance value from the transistor itself. And that means that when we touch the base here, the transistor starts to conduct and the pointer moves. And now I touch the base from the transistor. This also is an application from the Wheatstone Bridge. It's an ex extreme sensitive detector for radio signals, for instance, or uh, intermediate frequency uh, from a uh, superheterodyne radio, how strong the EF signal is. And when we connect this base here directly to the positive lead, an, an extreme current will flow here, or extreme, not very extreme, but a fierce current, and that means that the pointer also moves very fiercely. Also one way to drive the meter into the bridge. Um, as far as I know uh, from the theory, there are also circuits in which four parallel capacitors are used, exactly the same 
and when one of the capacitor values differs, they will also an AC um, an AC current will start to flow. Of course, we must apply AC to the bridge then in that case, and it's a way to measure an unknown capacitor. So you can do that experiment. I think uh, it will be successful. I think it's an interesting experiment. So when you uh, make this circuit, you'll find all kinds of applications, applications in, in electronics where you can use this uh, extremely sensitive uh, measuring bridge to detect uh, tiny voltages or tiny currents um, when they are changing.